Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rob and today I started this new series called Shorts where I show you these cool tips to add to your games to make them cooler. In this short video, I will be showing you how to make this cool custom score that bounces. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. So let's get started. Click the create button and the first thing we're going to do is get the sprite that's going to have all 10 digits from 0 to 9. Now Scratch already has these digits as sprites, so I'm just going to be using those. But of course, you can use whichever one, whichever digits you want. Let's go ahead and choose a sprite. And of course, I'm going to start with 0. There it is. And I'm just going to go to the costumes and I'm going to choose all the other costumes up to 9. Now I'm going to make 3 sprites in total because my square will go up to 999. So this one first I'm going to name it 1s and I'm going to go ahead and make it a little smaller, 50. So duplicate this same one and I'm going to call this one 10s. Let's duplicate this one. I'm going to call this one 100s. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and position the them in order. So and up here at the top of the screen. So there you go. Your game will need a something to keep count of the score. You're, so you're probably going to use a variable. So let's go ahead and make a variable that I will call score because it's keeping count of the score. Okay, and now we have to set it to something at the beginning and then change it every whenever something happens. So I'm, we need to code. And I'm going to put this code inside of my backdrop code. Now you can put in whatever sprite you want to put the code in. So when green flag clicked, I will set score to zero. And then um, it will change score by one every, like, whenever something happens. Now for you, it might be something like in your game, like when you pass a car or when you, I don't know, collect something. But for me, I'm just going to do a forever wait 0 0.1 seconds and then change it by one. All right, so here's my score variable right here. And you can see that it's going up by one every 0 0.1 seconds. So that's good. Next, we want our three numbers that we made to uh, be the score. So like the ones would be the ones of the score, the tens would be the tens of the score, the hundreds would be the hundreds of the score. So we'll start with the smallest, which is the ones. And when green flag clicked, forever, we will want it to change its costume to something so, so that it's the same as score. So we'll switch costume to, and basically we need to switch the costume to um, remainder of score divided by 10. So we ha Scratch actually has this function called, called mode. So if we do score mod uh, 10, that will give us the remainder of score divided by 10. And basically we have to switch costumes to this. But if we go to the costumes, for me, you can see that all the costumes are named glow dash and then the number it is. So if I'm going to use this other function that's called join something and something. And I'm going to join glow dash uh, with score mod 10. So let's test it. We can see that the ones digit here is working. It's changing just like the score. So that's good. Next, we'll do the same for tens. So we will get the same code and for the tens, we'll have to change something. So we will switch costume to join glow dash. And instead of score mod 10, instead of this score, it's gonna be score divided by 10 because we need 
uh, the number divided by 10, uh, so the remainder of the number divided by 10, divided by 10. So there you go. Let's test it. And we can see that the tens digit works too. Next is do the hundred digits. So I'm gonna copy that same code and just change it to score divided by a hundred. So let's test it. And now let's wait so that the hundreds will change too. Should work, but okay, here we are. 70, 80, 90, and there you go, the hundreds worked, so that's good. Now, if you want your score to go higher than 999, you will add more sprites, like the thousands place, the 10,000s, the 100,000s, the millions, and so on. You could do that if you need that for your game. But I'm just gonna do three, so up to 999. All right, now to make this a little bit more fun, we're gonna add this cool effect kind of thing. So, we'll start with the ones because it's the first digit. We will, when green flag clicked, we will forever, we'll repeat, let's say, um, three times. We will uh, just go up and then come back down. So we need to go up, so change Y by, let's say, one. Let's copy the same thing, and we're just gonna make it go back down, so minus one. All right, let's test it, no, wait. Let's bring it down here. Okay. You can see it goes up and down. Now let's put this code into the tens and the hundreds. Now we're just gonna change something. Make it a little bit more fun. We're gonna repeat the tens four times. That it's a bit different. And for the hundreds, we're gonna repeat it five times. All right. Let's test it now and we can see that the effect works so you can use this custom score to add to any game just to make it funner or cooler so thanks for watching i hope you liked the video and i'll see you next time for another tip that you can add to your games